Are you living or just existing? Without dreams or goals, there is no living, only merely existing. And that is not why we are here. These words were spoken by Mark Twain over a hundred years ago, and they are still relevant today. These words are deep and weighty, but also challenging. And this begs me to ask an unusual question. To all of us, certainly me included, we must agree to ask ourselves this question. Are we living or merely existing? Sorry to ambush you with that. Hi there, I'm Catherine Gahu from SBO Research. Thank you for tuning into my channel, Elevators, where I offer elevating and empowering messages to help you grow in life, career, or business. In this video, I will use famous quotes to help us answer the question, are we living or merely existing? That's a pop question for all of us. So think about it. How can you assure yourself that you are living and not merely existing? This challenged me and I thought I'm going to share this with you. This is an interesting question, but at least based on this Mark Twain test, the answer is simple. You know that you are living by having dreams and goals, big dreams. And as Oprah Winfrey said, the biggest adventure you can ever take is to live the life of your dreams. It appears that the idea of a dream is powerful. And so what does this mean? What does it mean to dream? To dream big is to allow yourself to have the freedom of mind to think about what you really want out of life. The purpose of your efforts or the vision that inspires you and drives you to make your daily efforts. To quote Elena Roosevelt, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Without a dream or long-term plan, it will be hard to wake up every morning with energy and inspiration and excitement. Your dream energizes you and inspires you as you work to pursue something worthy at the end. I like what Barbara Shaw said that as soon as you start to pursue a dream, your life wakes up and everything has meaning. And Malcolm Forbes said that, when you cease to dream, you cease to live. Therefore, dreams and goals are powerful. They are powerful definers of living and not just existing. This means we cannot be able to answer this question for ourselves. Because as Josiah Cut in Alice and Wanderer said, if you don't know where you want to go, then it does not matter which path you take, as any road could take you there. So having big dreams means that you set your standard at a high level. It implies that you have clarity in your mind about where you are heading and the purpose of your struggles. To dream big is to see your results vividly in your mind. And as Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. Joseph Campbell explained the difference between dreams and goals in an interesting way. He said that a dream is your creative vision of your life in the future. A goal is what specifically you intend to make happen. He added that dreams and goals are coming attractions in your life. Think about that. We started with the challenging statement from Mark Twain that without dreams and goals, there is no living only merely existing. So far, what do you think? Are you living or just existing? We need to challenge ourselves to live life fully as long as we are living, as long as we are alive. So let's consider another challenging statement by the same author, Mark Twain, regarding dreams and goals. He promised that, and I quote, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than the ones you did. So he said, so throw off the bowlines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. That quote is basically encouraging us to take action and pursue our dreams. All it wants us that we will regret in the future. Actually, I can tell you that I agree with this statement because the things I would today look back and say, think about which I would consider a regret are things I didn't do. 
not the things I did. Even the things I did that failed, I never find myself regretting. The idea is to get started on the journey. Take the first step in the direction of your dreams and the rest of the journey will unfold over time. So to quote Michael Corder, one way to keep momentum going is to have constantly greater goals. So we need to keep moving because as Leonardo da Vinci said, for once you have tasted flight, you will walk on the earth with your eyes turned skyward. That means your exposure to that idea will keep you thinking about how else, how much further you can go. And don't worry about your past or humble starting point. For to dream costs nothing. That's my view. All you need is courage. To quote Maxime Regas, you will stumble upon something you cannot stop thinking about. Something more important than anything else. Make that your focus in life. That's Maxime Legas. And as Oprah Winfrey said, the great courageous act that we must all do is to have the courage to step out of our history and our past so that we can live our dreams. Again, Steve Jobs said that if you haven't found it yet, keep looking. So don't listen to those people who say that you are naive because you are pursuing certain goals. Because as Frank Richards put it, all big things in the world are done by people who are naive and have an idea that is obviously impossible. You know, basically meaning that in the minds of many other people, the ideas that people come up with, when you say it to many people, they find it naive and impossible. And I just looked up a few things and I saw in reality that many life-changing inventions that we take for granted today were at first dismissed as impossible by the respected experts of the day. And uh, you can consider from the light bulb by Thomas Edison to X-rays to cars to the idea of flying a plane and many other things that we take for granted today. They face great resistance when they were initially proposed by their dreamers. So other dreamers' ideas were initially rejected before they later received acceptance following more information and the like. And this includes hand washing. Hand washing, which we now take for granted when it was first introduced by Dr. Semewis, a Hungarian doctor whose research had showed him that if doctors washed their hands between patients, that it would save patients' lives. But the doctors didn't want to listen to him. They threw him out. The Vienna Medical Society, where he presented his research. So if you imagine such a simple idea was resisted, how about whatever ideas you have about how far you want to go, the ideas you have about the things you want to do. So let's challenge ourselves. And because this applies to all of us, we have to learn to resist the pressure and the negative messages we get from others who tell us that our ideas don't make sense, that our ideas are impossible or cannot be achieved. Because in reality, we are the, or the person with the idea is the only one who's challenged to implement it. And because they've seen it, for whatever reason, I believe when God shows you that idea, then there is a reason and he will show you the steps that will take you to its achievement. And that's how you'll be able to serve the society in a bigger way and to make greater contribution. It was Nelson Mandela who said that it always seems impossible until it's done. So don't wait for others to accept or support your idea or your dream. Keep dreaming, keep looking, keep thinking. Because as we've all realized, we are all different. We are unique and all of us are gifted differently with different capacities and abilities. And so the people who finally get where they are going are the ones who have the courage to stay with their dreams, to pursue it regardless of what their friends, their neighbors, their social circles, their family are telling them that it's not doable. So go ahead and proceed to re-energize your dreams and goals so that you can start living and stop merely existing. Your life must represent a pursuit of something, something bigger, something that contributes to the well-being of others, something that contributes something. For that to happen, you need courage. And to quote Walt Disney, all our dreams can come true 
if we have the courage to pursue them. So take courage and dare to pursue your dreams and goals. Because as other Ash said, you just need to start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. Because the distance between your goals and your dreams is what is called action. So even if you feel like a failure, be encouraged to start over by this statement attributed to Henry Ford that failure is the opportunity to begin again more intelligently. So even if the question on living or existing was a challenge at the beginning, it was to me, you can now decide to start living and not merely existing. That is in case you are not living as per this description. So do it by adopting these four steps. First, get the courage. Second, dream big. Third, set goals. And fourth, take action. Do like this video and share it with a friend who you think might benefit from it. Thank you and best wishes as you go ahead to think big and take action to pursue your dream. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time.